Well, for the Roll Radio Network, I'm Joe Gang. We're going to visit with another lead 33 fellow. Of course, that is Matt Dolch. And Matt, uh, you are residing, of course, now here in Lincoln. You grew up in Iowa. We had you for a little bit with the Nebraska Rural Radio Association. So let me uh, be one of the first to congratulate you on graduation. Thank you very much. Nebraska has been a place I've called home for the last eight years, and it's great to graduate from an esteemed program like the Nebraska LEAD program. One thing I liked from your presentation tonight, because you talked about a lot of the uh, international study seminar, you had a lot of great points, and from going through that, it sure is an eye-opener. Talk about uh, how your eyes were open. It is. I think a lot of times in the United States, not only in agriculture, but across the country, we take things for granted. And to develop and experience some of the developing countries was quite the eye-opener. People that don't have enough to eat at the end of the day or that don't have the opportunity to walk to the store and buy what they need. I think that's something that uh, a lot of times, like I said, we take for granted here. Yeah. You being from Iowa, how did you like the Nebraska seminars? Really enjoyed the Nebraska seminars. Like I said, Nebraska is a place where I call home and a place where I'd like to call home for the rest of my life. Just really great people. And at the end of the day, you can tell even in agriculture that the people in India, Nepal, and the United Arab Emirates are very similar to what we do. They've all got challenges and issues that they're working through. But at the end of the day, we're a team working through those together. What's something that LEAD has taught you that you can take back and, and use, well, maybe even both in your personal life and in your career? I think it's the ability to say no in a lot of cases, and we talked about that a bit today. To be an effective leader, sometimes you have to say no because you're being spread too thin or there's uh, too many opportunities out in front of you. And to do a quality job that we like to do as Nebraskans or people in agriculture, sometimes you just have to say no and step and take advantage of the opportunities that you can give 100% to. All right. For people that are listening to this, maybe thinking about applying for a lead or maybe haven't thought about it yet, kind of plug the, the lead experience, if you would. Well, take a look at it. Everybody says they don't have time, and you have to make time. That's just the honest truth. And the experience that you gain here is something that you can utilize the rest of your life. Uh, I liken it to high school. A lot of times we enjoy playing sports in high school, but uh, it's the FFA experiences, it's the 4-H experiences, and, and those things that develop career skills through hands-on learning experiences that are truly the most valuable. And so LEAD is just right along with those, and I would encourage anyone to take a look at it. Applications are due June 15th. Thanks, Matt. Congratulations. Thank you again, Joe, for being a part of the night. You're very welcome. Matt Dolch, he's part of Lead Group 33 that graduated Friday evening at the East Campus Union on the University of Nebraska-Lincoln campus. For the Rural Radio Network, I'm Joe Gangwish.